have Q spheres A and B, as you can clearly see on the sketch, right? And then the first question, 10.1, is saying which sphere has an excess of electrons? A is clearly positive, while B is clearly negative. So it's sphere B which has excess electrons, right? If a sphere has an excess of electrons, then it's going to be negatively charged, right? So it's easy to see that between A and B, B has an excess of electrons since it is negatively charged, right? And then 10.2, 10.2 saying that the two spheres are allowed to charge. Will the electrons be transferred from A to B or B to A? So let's go back to grade 7 where you talked about diffusion, right? So in diffusion, uh, substances are moving from a point of high concentration to a point of low concentration. So let's look at uh, sphere A, right? Let's look at sphere A, uh, which is positive, and sphere B, which is negative, right? So we've already established that sphere B has an excess of electrons, right? And then between A and B, sphere B has more electrons, right? The more negatively charged a sphere is, the more electrons it has. So you can see that B is minus 2 times 10 to the minus 6 columns of charge, while A is plus 3 times 10 to the minus 6 columns of charge. So B is more negative compared to A. So there's more electrons in B compared to A, right? And because of diffusion, electrons will move from B to A, a point of high concentration to a point of low concentration. So 10.2, uh, we have B to, to A. We have B to A. The electrons are going to move from B to A. If A had a magnitude of, let's say, uh, it had a charge of minus 4 times 10 to the minus 6, then the electrons would move from A to B because now A is more negatively charged compared to B. But then in this case, the electrons are going to move from B to A. Right, let's do 10.3. So 10.3 is saying that uh, the spheres are now separated. Let's calculate the new charge on sphere B. If uh, the two spheres are allowed to charge, and then and now they're separated, the charges on the spheres is going to be the same, right? But then, how do we determine that charge of which we say is the same? We say that Q nu is equal to Q1 plus Q2 divided by 2. So let me just explain a bit why the new charges will be the same. So when they're allowed to charge, there's going to be an electron transfer. But then how many electrons will be transferred? There will be a number of electrons transferred such that the charge on A is equal to the charge on B, right? We're going to reach a point of equilibrium where the number of electrons are the same on both charges, right? So that is uh, what is essentially happening. As a result, uh, the charge on A will be the same as the charge on B. So Q1, we can take either the charge on A or the charge on B. It doesn't really matter, right? So let's just take the charge on A. We're going to have 3 times 10 to the minus 6 plus the charge on uh, B, right? So we started with the charge on A. Now let's take the charge on B. We're going to have minus 2 multiplied by 10 to the minus 6. And then we divide everything by... Two, right and then if you put that in your calculator you should get 5 times 10 to the minus 7 columns right or in some cases you're gonna get uh, 0 0.5 times 10 to the minus 6 which is the same as just 5 times 10 to the minus 7 columns right and then now uh, the last question 10.4 so 10.4 is saying that let's calculate the number of electrons transferred during contact so there is a formula for that, right? Uh, the number of electrons transferred during uh, the contract uh, will be equals to Q nu. So the new charges on the spheres, which we calculated in 10.3, minus Q old 
right divided by uh, the charge of an electron so the question is like what is q old q old is the charge of either a or b you can use a or b you're gonna get the same answer right but then one value is gonna have a minus sign and the other one is not gonna have a minus sign because we're gonna end up with the same answer right so the number of electrons will be equals to q mu which is 5 times 10 to the minus 7 right minus q old so let's take sphere b right so if we minus sphere b we're gonna have minus 2 times 10 to the minus 6 please uh, just you know uh, try this question after you see me do it but then use sphere a instead and tell me if we get the same answers right and then we divide this by the charge of an electron which is minus uh, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 right and then if you put that in your calculator you're gonna get um, 1.56 times 10 to the 13 electrons uh, to 13 electrons so in a million right there's six zeros and then in a billion there is nine and then in a trillion is 12 so uh, 15 trillion electrons were transferred how amazing is that